Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Well, today's one of those days. It's a beautiful spring day here in Texas, and you know, the kids wanted to get out their electric car here, and uh, the stupid thing just wouldn't run like it was expected to. So, <sighs> either we could replace the 24 volt lead acid battery with an equivalent low output lead acid battery, or we can uh, upgrade. Let's go ahead and do the upgrade. I'll show you what I did. And there it guys, so this this is it. This is the UTD. It's actually quite large. And this thing's a champ. But uh, I thought the lead acid batteries, not only did they add a lot of weight needlessly, but uh, the output was just generally kind of low. And I've got a bunch of DeWalt tools, so I said, you know something, stay away from those cars. <laughs> That's not what I said. So I, I decided to go ahead and on Amazon, I found an upgrade kit right here. And it takes, it comes with two. And I was like, you know, either I could upgrade one tool with one battery or I could put them in parallel and I can upgrade it with two batteries. So now I have 12 amp hours worth of 20 volt. Now the original battery is 24 volts. So it does run a little bit slower. However, it is a longer running car. I've had it running for probably close to 30 or 40 minutes now. And I just want to show you guys. 30 or 40 minutes, I can individually check the cells. Oh, look at that, full. <laughs> and look, they have, I can shut cells on and off individually if I really wanted to. Um, but since they're in parallel, it doesn't really, doesn't really change the output much. And look at that, full. Now the kit is pretty neat because it comes with the adapter that slides on your batteries. So if I need to charge these, I've got several uh, DeWalt battery chargers in the garage. So I just pop these bad boys off, pop them on the chargers, and they're being maintained professionally. Now, uh, what I did do is it comes with these little guys right here. And you can see I've got my uh, black leads, my negative, running in, and I got a jumper down at the other side. And the reds are just the same. There's a little jumper that makes it parallel. So we got 12 amp hours worth of discharge. And man, this guy is an absolute champ. So the original battery, it had failed. I was like, well, you know, we can either change out the battery for a replacement and probably by the end of summer, I will be dealing with this problem all over again. Or I will go ahead and I will change them out with the waltz because I have a bunch of these lithiums floating around and here we go. Oh yeah, this thing's a champ. So this particular one is not geared for speed and we technically decrease the voltage anyway. So the voltage is down to 20 volts out of the 24 and that does make a difference. I can audibly hear the difference in the um, the motors. However, when it comes to amps, I definitely have more amps on these batteries here. So this right here, I was holding two kids, about uh, 110 pounds, and it was driving at full speed. Not too bad. So guys, you too can uh, upgrade the batteries in your ride-on or power wheels. It's not that very difficult. It takes minutes to do. I just cut out my old connector that was on the battery and I wired in the battery connector to the battery connector of the vehicle. So I didn't modify the vehicle at all. In fact, if I wanted to, I can go forth and I can buy another replacement battery and I can throw it in this thing tomorrow and I'm good to go, right? So if I ever wanted to sell it, I'm all set. But it does have the battery terminals off the battery. I did cut those, and that was what was wired into my Quick Connects. Pretty cool, pretty simple, works like a charm, and I'll tell you what, man, I absolutely love the fact that my kids can come out here, just goof around for over an hour, and it's still running strong, man. Lithium technology, gotta love it. All right, guys, thanks for watching.